Hi, I'm Erin. I'm one of the trainers here at the Princeton Club New Berlin. Today we're going to talk about your target heart rate. We're going to talk about how to calculate that and what that all means. Then we'll take those numbers and show you how to better your workout according to the zones that you should be in. Okay? There are different formulas for heart rate. We're going to be a little bit basic here, but we're also going to take into effect um, your individual resting heart rate and what that's going to allow us to do is make the zone a little more specific to the level of fitness you are at right now. Uh, to figure out your resting heart rate, you're going to want to do this ahead of time. Usually two to three mornings when you wake up in the morning, take your heart rate right away. Uh, use your two fingers, take it on your thumb side, count for up to a full minute to find out what your resting heart rate is per minute. Do that again two or three days in a row and take the average of that number. Um, I did that ahead of time so I know for example my resting heart rate is 52. So at the start of the formula you're going to take 220 minus your age to get your maximum heart rate. So for me for example 220 minus my age of 33 is going to give me a maximum heart rate of 187. I'm going to take those numbers, I'm going to take my maximum heart rate, plug it into the next part of the equation, so 187 minus my resting heart rate, which is 52, and I'm going to get Y, which is 135. I'm then going to take that 135, and I'm going to plug it into four different zones. These zones are going to help me figure out what level I want to be working at at what time of my work. Now we're going to take that 135 and we're going to plug it into four separate equations which are going to give us four separate zones. These zones are a percentage of your heart rate. So based on the levels we want to work at, we want to work at 60, about 60 to 80 percent of our heart rate when we are um, doing certain cardiovascular activities, okay? Zone one, between zone one and zone two, which is between 60 and 70% of your heart rate, is gonna be your fat burning zone. Between zone two and three, which is 70 to 80%, is going to be your cardio zone. And 80% and up is going to be your high intensity. You don't really have a need to go above 85% of your heart rate unless you're a um, high intense athlete, maybe doing a sprinting event or something like that. So these are the zones that we're going to concentrate on. Now what these different zones mean is in the fat burn zone, 60 to 70 percent, it's going to be a little bit slower. Your main source of energy is fat in that zone. Cardio zone, you get into other sources of energy as well. You're still going to burn fat, but you're also going to use your carb stores to keep going. So people that are doing long distance events such as marathon running or even just a long run, a long time on the elliptical, you're going to make your way a little bit more into that cardio zone to train yourself to be stronger, faster, all that kind of stuff. High intensity zone is more if you're doing sprint intervals or trying to increase your overall speed by doing intervals. So you may start slow and then put in a sprint, slow down again, put in a sprint in order to increase your overall just basic pace. Okay, so now we're gonna figure out those zones based on me. So if I take Y, which was we figured out before as 135 for me, times 0.6, I'm going to get 81. In the formula, you're then gonna add back in your resting heart rate, and this is what makes it more specific for the fitness level that you're at right now. So if I add that in 52, I get 133. So my first zone, 60% of my maximum heart rate is 133. Doing the same thing for the rest of them, point, or 70% or times 0.7, I'm going to get 
94.5. Adding back in my 52 resting heart rate, I'm going to get about 146. So that's zone two. Zone three, which is 80%, I'm going to take my 135 times 80% and get 108. Adding back in my resting heart rate, and I'm going to get 160. Now that we have our zones figured out, we're going to take those numbers and relate it to your workout. Knowing what zone you personally want to work in, let's say you're going to go for a run and you want to be in the cardio zone, you know what your number is. Mine's 146. Now how do we track that? There are a couple of different ways to track it. You can track it manually by stopping during your workout or trying to take it while you're running, figuring out where your pulse is at. Or you can buy a heart rate monitor and see it right on your wrist where you're at. You can also, on many of the cardio machines, they have heart rate monitors, so you can grab the handles and test it that way too. The benefit of knowing what zones you are and really learning where you're at, it's gonna help you gauge your workout. After wearing a heart rate monitor for many years, if I go for a run, I can gauge about where I'm at, which helps me figure out what speed I'm gonna run at that day. Um, different days, you can be feeling different ways. If you have a cold coming on, you may see that, that when you're doing the same workout you did a couple days ago, your heart rate might be at a higher level. So that kind of gauges, well, maybe I just need to slow down today. I'm not feeling as well today. Or the opposite. Um, in the next series, we're gonna take these numbers and show you how to use it on the treadmill for different interval runs to help you train. We're going to do them at the beginner levels, intermediate levels, and advanced levels so you have an idea of how you can incorporate that into your workout. So this is a summary of how to find your zones. Now that we did that, our next series will be on how to use the actual heart rate monitor, which is the easiest way to monitor where you're at while you're doing the workout. Um, thanks again for listening. And if you have any questions on how to figure out your actual zones, please feel free to find me at the club, ask for Aaron, or any one of the other trainers can help you find your zone. Thanks.